Good morning, authorities, excellencies, Mr. Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I wish to welcome you all here to Rome. I'm really a bit emotional because it is the first time after a very long, long period that we have a physical meeting, we have a, an event, a real one. Uh, and we have it here in Rome. In Europe, I, I suppose it is uh, one of the very first ones uh, taking place, uh, not remotely. So, uh, good morning, and uh, let me thank the Union of O'Hara Banks for inviting once more ABI, the Italian Banking Association, to this always uh, highly appreciated event. For us, it is a pleasure and an honor to have contributed for the fifth time to such an event. Uh, let me say that we are really proud uh, of having the meeting here and I want to thank uh, Vissam, I don't see him now, but uh, uh, he has been very courageous and uh, uh, persevered in, uh, in, in pursuing this uh, objective of having the meeting physically. Uh, we meet today uh, in the tail, hopefully, let me say, in the tail, in the back end of uh, an horrible event that we have experienced uh, all over the world, uh, the, the pandemic crisis. Uh, all of us has been it, uh, directly, indirectly. Uh, all our corporates have uh, had consequences. Uh, unfortunately, most of them very negative ones. Uh, uh, households and corporates, uh, large and small ones, bring in most cases serious consequences from the pandemics, uh, be it a physical, moral, and economic level. We as banks, uh, we uh, that were often pointed at as the, the cause of the previous crisis, the post Lehman one, uh, have been playing a fundamental role this time as a resilience element. By doing rapidly and without any doubt our job of transmission chain of the policy decisions taken by monetary fiscal authorities. This is why we often listen to the saying uh, banks have played as part of the solution, not of the problem. And this is absolutely true. But now the emergency phase seems to be overcoming and we are at the start of an historical uh, recovery. And here too, as banks, uh, we have to play a fundamental role in financing working capital as we always do and financing uh, uh, new investments that were suspended at the beginning of the crisis. And to do this, we need the support of our authorities in the regulatory and supervisory domain. We are all very committed to respect and apply the international standards, the international agreements, especially those taken uh, in Basel. And now, as you all know, we are going toward the application of the last step of the so-called Basel III Accord. We believe that our authorities uh, and uh, the politicians should uh, take into serious consideration the importance of a, a tailored application of this final step of Basel III Accord, because we would like to avoid that in such a delicate moment, like it is now the starting of a recovery, a uh, request of additional capital, precautionary capital, could put a danger the financing of the recovery itself. Uh, for, for the first time, I think we uh, assisted in this crisis uh, and with a, a very positive uh, 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 outcome, in our opinion, to a coherent intervention of monetary, fiscal, 
policy measures, but accompanied also by temporary relaxation of some regulatory automatisms that usually are embedded into financial and banking regulations. The synchronicity of these interventions were fundamental to allow banks play their role. And this work is not closed yet at all. We have in front of us uh, historical challenges. Uh, these are the themes of these two days. Uh, the transformation of our economies in sustainable economies through the application of sustainable financial finance principles and not only principles, but uh, facts, I would say. And the transformation uh, more and more of our sector into a digitalized one, but defending in the meanwhile, defending it uh, from uh, the continuous and increasing threat of cyber criminality. And here we find also a number of areas where we can develop our cooperation in the banking field from the application of new technologies to anti-money laundering practices, to the collaboration among uh, institutions, public-private institutions dedicated to cyber defense. Here in Italy, we have uh, uh, set up with the uh, Bank of Italy, our central bank, and the Italian Banking Association, uh, the, the CERT, that is uh, the body who takes care uh, of the emergency response team against computer uh, crisis. And we are experimenting a number of uh, uh, relations with uh, uh, similar bodies uh, around the world, and we consider them very positively. And so I, I wish to extend also the proposal of having uh, increasing relations uh, also in this kind of activity with the Arab world. Now, I don't want to go here deeper on these subjects as they will be part uh, of the, the today's and tomorrow's sessions um, of the summit. Therefore, I stop here, just thanking you for uh, your attention, renewing our availability as Banking Association of Italian Banks to cooperate in the many fields that uh, see our banking sectors uh, committed to contribute uh, to a sustainable and enduring uh, recovery. So therefore, Mr. Chairman, authorities, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again once more for your attention and for your, your coming.